We're here with Randy Stotts after the 11-6 uh, victory over Australia in the bronze medal game. Um, can you just share kind of your thoughts and emotions after the game? Yeah, I mean, you know, it was uh, pretty pretty cool to be a part of this. You know, it's probably my last field across world game, so you know, it's emotional as well. Um, but, you know, I think we started off slow, and then, you know, towards the second quarter, we started possessing the ball and getting back to, you know, what got us... Um, in, what brought us successful in the first place? So, uh, you know, it's it's a uh, it's a good feeling. Yeah, it was two to two, and then y'all went on a little four zero run in the second quarter. Um, did anything change during that run, or y'all just? Yeah, I think just ball control. Like you know, in this game, if they if they win the face off and score, and they win the face off again, they could have the ball for five six minutes. So, you know, we just had to slow down on offense and control the ball and get back to controlling the tempo. Yeah, and then they cut it to seven to five in the in the third, and then you had a couple big assists. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one you found Lyle, and then another time uh, behind the back. Um, what what happened there? What did you see there? Ah, uh, honestly, you know, that's just you know, I, I think you know, I got top side on my defender, and you know, uh, Hoagie's guy just kind of slid to me, and I I it just slipped out. I couldn't get it around me this way, so I just you know chucked it behind the back. Yeah, and uh, we, caught, we caught up with you after the first game against England, um, but this is now about eight days later, <laughs> eight more games later. Yeah. Um, can you just reflect on, on oh, the grind man. that it's been the last ten days? Yeah, it's been, it's, it's been a lot. You know, I, I, not only physically, but mentally, too, every day. You know, we played seven days in a row. We played eight games in nine days, and, you know, that grind is, is obviously tolling on the body. I'm sore as hell. And then the mind, too, right, getting prepared and getting up and, and making sure, you know, we don't start slow, and we and we stick to our principles and do everything that way. But it's uh, I'm drained, but you know I'm happy we, we came home with the medal. And um, you know you mentioned this this may be your last mm -hmm. World Games. I don't know if we just got the exclusive retirement announcement <laughs> or whatnot, but um, just what does that mean to you to, to be here representing? I know the other day I asked you, you know you didn't want any time, you know versus Hong Kong you probably could have got a break, but you kind of yeah. shared that. It, it meant a lot to be out there for you, to you. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, I kind of wanted to be present. I think it really hit me after Canada more so than now. Now it's more of a, like, I'm, I'm happy and I'm content with it. Um, but, you know, after Canada, was, I was pretty emotional just because uh, the fact that, you know, I don't have a, I didn't lost a chance at my la last gold medal. And, you know, to, to try to do that for this organization and not even that, as well, you know, for our people and, you know, for the native people all over Turtle Island and all over the world, I think, you know, this team reflects more than me and my family. I think it reflects, you know, all indigenous people across the, the globe. And so then what's next for the organization? You as a veteran who's been here a while, um, but you got to experience some of the younger guys uh, this tournament. What, what do you see coming next for Haudenosaunee? Uh, you know, I, I think everyone this tournament really committed to each other and committed to, you know, being here and being present and, and focusing on the goal and the goal was to you know take it day by day and tackle that task every day um, so I you know the younger guys coming in are amazing you know we got some great defenders good goalies and some all-star offensive threats and you know um, maybe if they you know five four years from now uh, if, if I hold up you know it'd be amazing to, to be a part of it in some sort of aspect whether that's you know if I still can play or you know if I'm coaching or something but I'm, uh, I'm very proud and fortunate to put on that jersey every time and there's no other feeling like it. Cool and then final question uh, your brother Austin mm -hmm. uh, I think he finished with 30 goals on the tournament oh, to, to lead um, I think he had 27 coming into today um, just kind of what is that like to play with your brother but also just to see him you know really shine out this tournament. Yeah I, I, I wouldn't I think he shines out all the time. You know, he, he's uh, he's very an emotional player, and he, he he's a, he's a beast, honestly. Like he, when he gets the ball and he's going to the net, he's going to the net. Um, and in my mind, he's a pure goal scorer. You know, he scores goals that goal scorers score. You know, 30 goals in what nine games? That's that's pretty crazy to me. Um, you know, so he's a uh, he's an amazing player, and you know. Um, happy that I could share the last two organs with him. Cool. Well, thanks for your time, man. It's Appreciate been a real it. pleasure to cover you guys. Thank you. Thank you.